Hey guys, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365. Thank you so much for tuning in. Got some exciting things going on in here. By the time you're watching this, happy Friday everybody. It's Thursday night. <clears throat> Just giving you a glimpse at what I have going on here and what I'm planning to do. If you're new to the channel, guys, my name is Mike. I'm an indoor gardener. I primarily focus on hydroponics. This is my current setup right here in my basement. I've got a two-tier system right here. Three reservoirs at the top. We'll have three reservoirs at the bottom. Had a couple other things going on here. A couple, <laughs> couple additional grow tents, but nothing is happening in that. I'm probably going to pack that thing down. I would love to just auction something off. If you, if you want, if you want to see me auction something off, give me the thumbs up. All right, give me some likes. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications, and you get notified every single time I upload a video. By the way, all the links are down below for everything that I have here. This way you don't have to do any research on your own on what you need for hydroponics. So look at these little babies. <clears throat> everything is looking really, really good, really healthy. I don't know about this little guy. <laughs> I can't even see that little guy. Look at him. He's got a red stem. Interesting. Uh, but super, super little. Mm, didn't really fully developed there for me don't know if he's gonna grow that is why I grow a few extra just in case something like that happens because the three of here the three reservoirs they hold nine so 27 at the top so what do I got here six 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 twenty four twenty six or seven 20. yeah exactly so I only I always grow like two two to three extra this way I could always have a packed house across the top in case one or two don't make it. Now I focus on a lettuce and I'm surprised to see somehow two got in here. And this little bunch was super delicate in relation for me to get them into the rock wall. So it, was, it wasn't as easy as I thought. Now I just fed them and what I mean by that is so yesterday for the past I, I posted a video last weekend and uh, for the past several days, for the past three to four days uh, this dome has been covering this tray and c creating condensation and basically giving them a nice little warm feeling as they grow and develop into these little little beautiful little babies okay in the next few days we're gonna see probably in the next like three to four days there's gonna be a lot of root development right from the bottom of these rock wool cubes and again this is rock wool this is what it is rock wool cubes okay um, apologize about that uh, basically it's the growing medium for hydroponics and that's what we use when we take for example this rock wool and put it into this net pod you're gonna need this stuff to grow hydroponically and then I put this in there and you put some hydrotone around there and then you'll see what happens from there and I'll take you through my journey as I as I get going on these three top tier and then I'm gonna be putting some more lettuce down below probably the next week <clears throat> this way I don't have a ton of overlap because when I grow too many okay 50 plus heads of lettuce all at once you're gonna have lettuce going bad okay this time I'm really gonna try to focus on clearing this out and then going down below here and really consume everything that I have now when I said that I fed these what that means is I've actually taken off the dome a day ago and under this light Okay, under this light, the rock wool gets extremely dry. But it's good to, at this level, to allow these plants to take in the natural light instead of being in the dome, um, kind of sitting warm. I, I like to expose them now to the full light spectrum, uh, even though they are fully exposed underneath the dome. But it's, it's definitely a different type of heat. So once they start getting all green heads, I allow the dome to come off. And basically to feed them, I have my little syringe here. I fill up a, you know, a little little plastic thing with some water. I take this syringe, I fill it all the way up, and I kind of just hit the rows real quick. You don't have to be delicate. These are these are nice and sturdy now, okay. And you just hit, you you take the syringe, and it's a, it's an easy way for a light amount of water. That's right, light amount, and the right amount to soak the rock wool cubes, which then take that. And uh, they absorb the water, and they provide water, basic basic water, you know, no nutrients, uh, to allow these little baby plants to thrive, just like regular water. If you're watering in the dirt, 
but this you know the rock will just sucks that water up holds it and gives it to the stem as needed into the root system and then these little guys develop and that's really all that's going on so I just wanted to give you guys a quick update I hope you're all staying safe I hope you're all getting motivated to start growing I mean the summer kind of just started the summer basically just started okay but due to the craziness around the world, I think it's important for everybody to really take precaution. Take, you know, start learning. Look at my look at my previous videos of everything that I've been doing. Learn how to make yourself a reservoir. Okay, go hit the links down below just to see what things cost. You know, can you set this up for yourself? That's important to know. It doesn't need to be this big. It could be a single reservoir with one lettuce head if you want. What's the, you know, it's up to you. I want to maximize the yield. Okay, maximize as much as I can. Yield, take as much crop as possible for the allotted space. Very important keywords here. Okay, depending on where you live, what your current setup is, you could probably put two of these in a different direction. And basically inside of this tent, if I put two of these shelves going this way okay I could now have two folds the amount of lettuce I'm growing but of course you need more additional uh, tools you need more reservoirs more tubing you need more pumps you need more fans due to the heat you know I'm, 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 I'm even considering doing that but not having a tent based setup just having a an exposed area setup but you're gonna be more prone to potentially some bugs spiders and spider webs even though there are spiders that crawl into here I mean we're in the basement of my home okay so you have to expect certain things though they don't they don't threaten the plants at all so again it all depends on your space but it's all about learning this is free information to you guys to, to my friends around the world free information I showed you how I germinated these seeds I showed you what I put the seeds in I showed you how I fed them for the last several days and how I fed them with with a light as well as water of course and now I'm going to show you guys how we transition them from here well this will probably be in the next video how I transition them from this stage into the reservoirs and what that's all about how we do all that it's super important and it's very interesting and it's very important for you to understand and learn okay so I'm gonna cut it here Again, if you're new to the channel, make sure to share this video if you feel that somebody is looking to learn how to grow indoors or is interested in hydroponics. It's very important that you start now. Know what you need, know how to do it, and know how to achieve what we all want. And that's pesticide-free vegetables that can be consumed at any time and grown at any time by just your hands. That's the most fascinating and most amazing thing anybody could ask for. All right, check out the links down below. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. I love you all. Make sure you all have a great weekend. Keep safe and keep on growing and keep on learning, guys, all right? I'll see you guys in the next couple of days with another update. Adios. Hey, guys, it's Mike here with Growing Doors 365. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. This way you get notified every single time I upload a video. Again, I want to thank you and make sure to uh, stay tuned for more videos. We'll see you here on the next one.